Out of all the bags I've seen so far, this is my favorite. This is the EDC commuter sling bag. Uh, and it's got just the exact same sort of features, like it's the same design, same theory. Uh, starting, uh, let's talk about, again, it's got the beaver tail and maybe show us the living space in this. Sure, one. and uh, we have that in common because this is probably my favorite bag other than the A-Range bag from a, a, a daily carry bag. This is something that uh, off the body carry in instances where I need it off the body, this is, this is how I run. Uh, the, the, the living part, again, we've got the beaver tail with the aluminum G-hooks that we talked about mm -hmm. uh, earlier with the satchel, so they are still there, still translate across the, the bag design. So Micro if you learn one bag, you've essentially learned all the bags. Absolutely. Okay. Micro Velcro and Molly, it's still inside here. Uh, again, huge with law enforcement community as far as putting placards and, and credentials and things like that on there. So uh, when they bring this bag around in front of them and then deploy their defensive equipment, that they can, they can also mm -hmm. open that up. Mm -hmm. So the living part, we talk about the living portion of the bag. This one, there's a couple of things. As this bag would hang on the, 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 the front of my body, You'll notice it's gusseted construction, so it's hanging on the front of me. This doesn't actually open up and dump all my stuff out on the ground. It stays up as a big lip to, to contain everything that's in here. Right, okay? correct. So now it's, I have this micro Velcro wall that's in here. I have a couple of zippered pouches. Again, a spot where I can tether my keys. Admin pouches in here for pens, pencils, things like that, but it's not, it's not going to dump all my gear on the ground. The other spot I have is just behind that. It's a little bit more Organized, uh, again, here's a spot in here where you can put in a tablet or a small laptop. Laptop, got a computer right there. Okay. Micro Velcro. Two pouches that are in here that you can use for just storage. They're, they're a, a billows type uh, design, so you can just throw a bunch of stuff in there and store it. And that gives you your, your living spark part of the bag, as we were talking about. And just like all the other bags, it's got an EDC pull tab, and this is the compartment where the firearm would be. Correct. Right? So as I, as I sling this up, this is how I would carry this bag. And once it's, uh, once it's adjusted for you, we talked earlier about making sure that it's prepped. Right. Uh, and it all comes down to the training and know where it needs to be. So if I sling this bag up, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach around and I'm gonna make sure that that is the lowest hanging portion on this bag. So, and it doesn't matter what part of my hand hits it, I know it's there. And it's just part of me donning the bag. I swing back, I feel it, it's good. Feels like nothing else on the bag. So as soon as I know that I need my defensive equipment, as I come back, even if it's the back of my hand that hits it, as I bring it around, stabilize it with my arm, and I can come in here and I, I there's my defensive equipment. And it looks like you've got a Glock and some magazines in there. Right. So it's, uh, and again, we talk about 3A body armor. So now, I actually, it, if I leave this in this configuration, I bring it around and I have to get into my defensive equipment, I can do that. The other thing it does is, two different layers of 3A body armor. So as so I bring it around. This bag also can take 3A body armor, just correct. like the Gambit and the Gambit Plus. That is correct. So now as I bring it around, if I'm moving to a, a situation over there where I need to address it with my handgun, I now have ballistic protection in my thoracic cavity. The other thing I can do is unzip this all the way open. I can buy two panels, and now I've got gullet to groin protection. So you body armor here, Body armor down here, you've got your handgun, and you, right there, is this the uh, one of the belt adapters or whatever you've been talking about? Yes, right? so it's basically, you can set this up however you want it. So I've got uh, an extra belt adapter panel in here in case I need that, but this is all micro Velcro, uh, and this is part of the Tactigami stuff. This is a Molly adapter panel. So basically I can take anything that has Molly or PALS attachments on it, and this is a Raven concealment module order panel. But it's basically, I put it on there, and now it allows me to stick this in here in whatever configuration, whatever orientation. If I want them horizontal, if I want them vertical, it doesn't matter which way. But it uh, now allows me to, normally I would have them in this fashion, so it, now it allows me to right, reload right, from here. Right, right, right. And it's called a belt adapter because basically anything that you could wear on your belt as far as a holster, uh, mag pouches, anything else, you can adapt to fit in your bag. So whatever duty gear or whatever carry gear you may have that you wear every day like this, if you want to put it in the bag, you can put it in the bag, same thing. Sure, and it's, uh, it, the, here's, a, here's a piece of Tactigami. So now I can wrap a flashlight, I can wrap a magazine, any of that other stuff, but again, any HSGI taco pouches. So now I take a, a, a module loader panel from Raven Concealment, slide that on there, and it gives me all sorts of options. The belt, ad the belt adapter panel itself, is I'm moving through here, so now we have uh, whatever holster you carry on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. You've already spent a bunch of money on that holster, so now we can allow you to use that holster inside the bag. bag. And all we're gonna do is, this belt adapter panel allows us to, to basically turn this into an inch and a half belt, 
Once you open that up and affix it, now I figure out what depth and what angle I want it on. Do a couple of dry runs and I'm good to go. You're good to go. So incredible versatility. Just like with the backpack, you can carry everything you need for day to day. You can carry your handgun, reloads. You can even have a couple of armor plates in here that will stop handgun bullets. Is that what, that's what those are rated for? Right. Th three A's pretty much uh, most of your handgun stuff uh, other than big uh, 44 mag and, and crazy dirty hairy stuff. And it, it, the bag looks very easy and simple and comfortable to carry. And it's kind of amazing how fast you were able to just swing that thing around and use that EDC pull tab and, and pull it open and get to the gun. Yeah, it's uh, with a little bit of training. Um, it, we have plenty of guys that uh, they can get shots on a zone hits at, at seven and ten yards in, in under two seconds. Under two, wow. Okay, so you've got two sizes of the satchel bags. You've got two sizes of the backpacks. Is this the only size of sling bag you've got? The uh, this was the original Gen One bag, and then we came out with a transit sling, which was the if you will, the, the Gen 2 bag, which is a almost direct copy of this. It has one less living pouch in it, and it's just a little bit smaller. Again, like the Gamma Gamma Plus is for smaller statue people or somebody that just wants a little bit of bag, not a, not a lot of bag. So if you don't want to tote all this extra stuff, you, you can get, you get the, uh, you call it the transit sling. Transit sling, yes. Now, I hope we're clear to talk about this, but but I heard a rumor that you guys might even have some, uh, some new colors coming out. Yes, um, <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about it here. Uh, we, we do have some new colors we're coming out with. Uh, initially, when we started on this, uh, obviously the gray came out. Black is still the predominantly the, the, the most common color in backpacks. Doesn't matter if you're talking about gun backpacks or, or just regular school backpacks, black with some sort of colored accent. So we went into the gray, now we're gonna get into more, um, more obvious colors, I guess. You know, greens and browns and blues and stuff like that, that it's, it's gonna look even more so uh, discreet, if just you like will. a regular bag, and, and not not a, not a gun bag. Right, correct. So you've got you've got new colors, and you've also got some new bags. There are also some new Vertex bags out. 